Welcome to the Church of Nebula podcast. My name is Haja Mo, and today we're embarking on a soul-enriching journey to explore the transformational power of love. It's been said time and again by some of the greatest thinkers and spiritual leaders of our time and times past that there is no greater power in the universe than the power of love. The frequency emitted by the feeling of love is the highest possible, capable of not just transforming individual lives, but the very fabric of reality. So let's delve deep into how enveloping every thought in love and extending love to everything and everyone can revolutionally change our existence. Imagine, if you will, a world where every interaction, every thought, is preceded by love. This isn't just a utopian dream, but a practical pathway to a more fulfilled and unified existence. Take, for instance, the story of Anna, a woman I met in one of the many workshops I've attended. Anna was embittered by life's seemingly relentless challenges and had built walls around her heart. However, through a series of events and self-reflection, she decided to experiment by approaching every situation with love. She started small, expressing genuine care for a colleague going through a hard time, and expanded this to volunteering for causes she believed in. Over time, Anna noticed profound changes, not just in her attitude, but in the way life seemed to respond to her. Opportunities opened up, relationships deepened, and a general sense of peace and purpose enveloped her life. So, how can we start integrating this powerful force into our lives? Firstly, it's crucial to recognize that love is a choice and an intention. It begins with deciding to view the world through a lens of compassion and understanding. You can start each day by setting an intention to act out of love, asking yourself how love would respond in various situations you encounter. One practical step is to practice loving-kindness meditation. This involves visualizing love enveloping you and extending this love to those around you, even to those with whom you may have difficulties. This practice not only shifts your energy, but also starts to transform your interactions. In addition, expressing gratitude daily can amplify your capacity to love. By focusing on what you're thankful for in your life, you naturally invite more positive energy and consequently more love into your experience. Whether it's keeping a gratitude journal or simply taking a moment each day to reflect on what you're grateful for, this practice is a straightforward yet profound way to cultivate love. Another impactful story is that of Michael, a business owner whose company was struggling. Amidst financial pressures and team conflicts, Michael opted to lead with love. He began openly appreciating his team's efforts, addressing conflicts with empathy and envisioning success for his company rooted in collective well-being rather than mere profit. This shift did not just improve morale, but also attracted new business opportunities and partnerships, showcasing the magnetic pull of love. As we wrap up today's episode, I hope these insights and stories inspire you to integrate the power of love more deeply into every facet of your life. Remember, love is not just an emotion but a state of being, a lens through which we can choose to see the world, and in doing so, fundamentally alter our experience of reality. Thank you for tuning into the Church of Nebula podcast. My name is Haja Mo, and it has been an absolute pleasure to share this journey into the heart of love with you. May your days be filled with love, and may that love ripple out, transforming not just your life but the lives of those around you. Until next time, take care and love abundantly. Goodbye.